Always, always the same, ready to go live. Oh no, I haven't got a mic on. Where is it? Don't panic. Where is it? Where is it? Yes, that's me today, right now. Oh my gosh, what a morning. Tim looked at me and went, Tony, you do know you're on live in half an hour. I was like, what? So good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all well. Welcome to the How to Craft Network studio. Thankfully, I'm always organised. I always have a rough idea of something that I want to do with you all or be creative with you all in some sort of fashion. I will do a little shout out, but let's just get through our little bit of housekeeping. So if you're not a subscriber to our channel, you need to click that subscribe button. Our channel is growing so, so fast. More people are viewing our videos than ever before. And I can't really tell you the reason why. I know why, but I can't tell you why, because other people might do it. Anyway. I'll tell you at some point as soon as it's all finalised. So what I want to talk to you all today about is a couple of things. Yes, I'm giddy. I'm very giddy. I've got so much happiness going on right now. I've got more bucket lists ticked. I've got some exciting shows ahead. We do our world launch of Quattro D on Tuesday. <laughs> so excited. Tuesday. Um, what else is happening? Emma's live today at 5pm with some absolute corking deals. Again, very similar to Carly's show, buy one, get two free. So five o'clock today, you need to check out Create and Craft. Emma's live on there today as well. And she's there on the 19th with some more super savings. So if you have had your eye on items, never a better time to do it in August with Stamps by Me. As you all know, we did our fantastic um, sale on Friday, which I can only tell you the girls are about halfway through the orders. <laughs> so if you have had your dispatch notice well done, don't worry though, the girls are working their way through them. Lots of you did multiple orders, which is absolutely fine, but just be a little bit patient. We're getting them out as quick as we can. Hundreds and hundreds of bags worth of post being picked up every single day. So got lots of goodness on its way to you all. Big shout out to you all. Bye, have I missed you all? Am I talking a bit fast? Slow down, Tony, slow down. I've got a lovely demo for you all as well. So anything else to tell you about? Yes. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday, Tony. It's Wednesday. Friday, I fly to Amsterdam. Can't tell you why, but I'll tell you about it when I get back. And then on Monday night at 7 o'clock, I'm showcasing all of the products that I'm launching on Create and Craft on Tuesday. You need to come along and have a look. So much goodness. And it's not just stamps and dies. Share, share, share this video. So exciting. So um, I'm out of the country from Friday till Sunday, actually Monday, and then Monday night, seven o'clock, Quattro D. Let me show you how it all works. We'll do some demos. You can ask as many questions as you like. We can be giddy keepers together. <laughs> giddy keepers together. Have you all got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee now? I'll just have a look across the other social media platforms. I mean, then what sort of cup is this? This is no good for me, this. I can't even hold it. So, Stamps by Me Facebook page. Hi, Kim. Hi, Carol. Hi, Betty Bliss. Lovely to see you, sweetheart. Dawn Thomas, liked and shared. Thank you so much, everyone. And then over on our USA page, we have our fabulous regulars as well. Lovely for you all to come and see us. We have Valerie. We have Tina. We have Sonia. We have Teresa. Brenda. And then on YouTube, as always, giddy kip, look at you, giddy kippers. Woohoo, giddy kippers. So much going on. So this week has been an absolute epic week for us. And I will tell you all about it. You're going to be so, I think you're all going to be chuffed for me, if I'm completely honest. You are really all going to be chuffed for me when I tell you what's happening over the next up and coming weeks. Um, so Friday, I'm away. And then Monday night, seven o'clock, la live launch of Quattro D. And I've got a lovely giveaway for you. But I think I might do more than one giveaway to celebrate too. So we'll see how it goes because it is a world launch after all, isn't it? So let's have a look. Mary Crows, like, oh, sweetheart, it's asking about our die cutting machine. Now, that might be on birthday. It might not. We will let you know. Um, we have lots of new in our birthday event in September too. But this is the launch of Quattro D on Tuesday. So that brand new concept that's nobody's actually done together as a concept, I believe. It's starting to come through a little bit now. It's creeping in. People are doing little bits and pieces. Nothing exactly the same as of yet. 
But um, yeah, it's a fabulous concept, which is going to give you the most gorgeous sort of embellishments and things for your cards. But equally, each element of Quattro D works independently on its own as well. So you're going to get some great results. And I've been doing some pre-records as well today. I can't tell you what they're for either, but lots of pre-records. So there's going to be loads of inspiration for you all. So let's do a quick shout out on YouTube. We have Amanda, Carol, Joe, Roxy Lee, uh, Lindsay. 7 p.m. in the diary. Well done, Lindsay. Jane, um, Sarah, how are, you, how are you doing, sweetheart? So much to look forward to, Sarah. Yes, and it's um, I'm pulling you with me, Sarah. Don't you worry, you'll be here as well in studio. I'll be pulling you all with me. Hi, Tina. Hi, Justine. Um, right, should we get cracked on straight into a demo? So I always say on Anything Goes Wednesdays is an opportunity for you guys at home to say what you want me to touch on, what would you like me to play with? Is there something you bought and you've not actually used? And I always ask it in the like the week before or on the Friday and people pop comments underneath and one lady asked if I could use the stand tall, which is this one here. Let me just move this one. So it's those lovely sort of floral designs that probably most of you bought and they are really slim and tall so you can do like your um, uh, slimline cards and things like that but I'm going to do a different take on it today and just show you how that as simple as this design is how impactive your cards can pretty pretty much look so if you have this then you can come and craft along if you want to if you can see share um, if you do share as well we always do a giveaway and I always announce it on the next next day as well so there is no show on Friday just bear that in mind I'm not here okay so unfortunately there won't be a show but I'm back on Monday with an absolute corker for you all so you'll all be able to save your pennies what you would have spent on the Friday and save it for Quattro D because honestly I do you know when I say to you sometimes you know I don't say it all the time I said it on our reflection collection because I just knew people were waiting for that but I don't often say it but I think people are just going to love the results that you're going to get from Quattro D that, you know, I don't think they're going to hang around long. Well, I'm hoping because I've ordered so many thousands. <sighs> oh, wish me luck, everyone. Right, let's crack on. So, is everybody okay, though? Everybody's good? I got, I prepared two cards, actually. I thought we would do like a monochromatic style and then maybe a colourful style. So let's go with the two pieces of card. So... This one's for the black one. Let's just pop that up there. And this one's for the pink one. So I have like a pink background with a black matte and layer and a grey with a black matte and layer. I thought this one could be monochromatic and we'll do colourful on this one. So colourful, monochromatic. Let's see which way I want my car. Right. Whew, I now breathe. Let's get some coloured inks, hey? So I like to play around with brushes and things like that. That cup is just a recipe for disaster for me, unfortunately. Let me just grab a brush. So I think today we're going to be a little bit oh, different. We'll try something different. If it works, brilliant. If it doesn't, I'm not precious about it. Oh, Adele's so looking forward to battery date. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Right, let's do colour. So shall we go pink? Let's go a nice yellow. So we do, do we think we'll get four on or three? Let's have a look at our stamps and see what size we're on. Hi, Maureen. Lovely to see you, sweetheart. So we will get through. Let's do three. Look at these gorgeous stamps. This one is a stunner in gold. Actually, it's on the packaging in gold and black on just a white card. Look at that. Really, really beautiful. So the video will be loaded onto the QR code as well, don't forget. So if you have your QR code and we have lots of new things happening with our fabulous QR codes. Again, Tim has come up with a great, great thing for you all um, to cut out some of the hiccups that have been happening. It's going to be amazing. And he was explaining to me again last night, oh, I've added this now, I've added that. I'm like, oh my gosh, customers are going to absolutely love that. So stand by for that one. So three from the tall now you can see they are exceptionally tall so normally they will go like on a slim line but i'm going to do a landscape card today because i need to chop it up and change it let's have a look oh okay let's go so i thought we'd do like three panels now i do have my uh, flat brush here which is from our watercolor brushes okay and i'm going to cut like create a bit of a dry brush background now when i say dry brush all it requires is a dry brush of ink. Now, if you have to add a little bit of water to sort of like get the scrape, you can absolutely do that. But I'm going to try and do dry brush lines. 
So we'll get some pink. We'll get some yellow. Tim is so clever. Honestly, I cannot tell you. He's obviously, he does all of the really, really complicated stuff. He does our website. He does everything for you all. And the ideas that he, come up, he comes up with, you, you'll ne never see in the industry ever because he spends months trying to figure out how to make it even better, which is cool. He's like, try this. Tell me what you think. Oh, I enjoyed that. Try this. No, it didn't. Mm, always, always thinking. I say that's why he's so thin, because he's obviously thinking all the time. <laughs> right, so pink, a yellow and sort of a tealy colour here, but you can use whatever ink pads you have in your stash. Will you be doing any more Christmas demos? Hilary, I absolutely will, because we've got some more Christmas products launching uh, soon. Um, some papers this time, got some pretty Christmas papers, so I'll incorporate them in with all of our earlier ones as well and show you how they'll work well together. So dry brush. There's no water on my brush here, just absolutely dry, okay? So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and create sort of a dry brush line down here. Now, you might have to go over it a few times, and it looks like a scratched effect. So get some colour on that brush. Pick it up best you can. So I'm just going like a zigzag left to right here. Probably make it a little bit fatter with air. You see that there? It looks like a little bit of a reflection. I'll just get some more colour down. I know a lot of you get the absolute most out of the QR code, so it's an area of our business we really, really do want to focus on and get really um, fluent in so you all get that lovely experience i'm just getting that color down here just trying to make it a little bit darker down towards the end can we see how it looks like a little bit of a reflection as we would if we were doing the reflection in studio so totally dry brush and it's giving me sort of this sort of look can we see i think i might have to go a little bit fatter though don't be scared tony come on get some color on there So basically, I'm just cleaning my brush. So that is sort of the pink one, okay? So I'm not going to wet my brush because it'll just wet my hair on here. I won't get that same result. So I'm just going to brush it off on here. It's just normal card, Roxy Lee. Sorry, it's just normal white card stock. So I'll just get rid of the pink off my brush here. Just move that out of the way. And then let's try our yellow one. So yellow in the centre. Go left, right, left, right, left, right, all the way to the bottom. Super excited for Quattro D, I know. So exciting. So the shows for Quattro D, if you do want to pencil them into your diary or pop them on something if you are really interested, the show is on the 23rd and it's at 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Four shows. I will talk about that on Monday night, though. So, no, don't worry if you haven't got facility to write it down right now. So I think we'll go with that. What do I think? Great card so far, don't it? Yeah, well, you know, I'm full of bright ideas. So I'll just brush that yellow off there. Give my brush. Wish you worked for me, Tony. <laughs> and then let's use this tealy one here. So we're just doing the same. Now, if you are a little bit of a OCD crafter and like things symmetrical and, you know, um, lined perfectly, I like sporadic, personally. I'm not precious about if it's not particularly straight or even. I do like my matte and layers even, but when it comes to painting, I'm not, I'm not so precious about it. But if you do, then you can, mark, you can grid your card into three if that is what you'd prefer. Because I know some of you do like precise in your craft, which is absolutely fine. So 
So total dry brush here. Get a bit more of that blue on there. Can't believe where this year has gone, I know. Julia Dorsey says, thank you, Tim. You're very welcome, sweetheart. So let's just clean our mat here. So yes, that's another thing. Port Sunlight is very quickly going to be upon us on the 8th of October in Liverpool. So your tickets for those are available on our website. And we have, if you pop in um, stamping together, the tickets will pop up for you. Um, it's a fabulous day. We've got lots of confirmed stands already. And this year we're having a stage with live demonstrations. So we're elevating the event and making it more of an experience so you can get some inspiration with crafting and things like that. All Tim's idea. So we'll see how it goes. But I think it's a fabulous idea and I think it really, really will work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the stamps and I think it would look gorgeous. Just look at this here. And we see if you pop like one in the one of the colours, but we could do one of each. I mean, that on a small little thank you card would look incredible, wouldn't it? I just love this stamp set. One of my favourites this year so far. Mind you, they're all my favourites. Shouldn't really have favourites, should we? So let's go with this one first. Now I'm just using my block here because my Eureka is still in my bag. world's biggest block so I think I'm gonna go here make sure my card is straight make sure it's straight on my card should I say Pauline hi from Ireland hi sweetheart I hope you are what's the weather like there today because it's pretty abysmal here And then you have sort of that design there. So do we think we should do all three the same on this one? No, let's chop it up. I think if you want to do all the three the same, you get the idea. But I'm going to do them all different. So at least you can see these all stamped as well. Because I think they're a lovely set of stamps. And then this one. Is that other one? And then we'll use this one that looks like a buttercup. Yeah, so don't forget to share because I think some people might be waiting for me to go live at one o'clock today. But obviously, because it's the summer holidays, it's a long time for my son to be sat out the front. So we bring it forward just that just that one hour. So he's not here all day. So this is that lovely sort of buttercup design on here. Super simple card, don't you think? Shared, Tony. Thank you, Nola. We've got some new stands confirmed as well for this year's show. So that's that one. So let's go to our um, grey one. Now that's that's what we've done with a completely dry brush. You saw me just pick up the ink from my mat and pop it on. Okay, we'll come back to it. That's the coloured, multicoloured one there. And let's bring in this black one. Now this is a technique that I absolutely love. Hopefully I've got the right block for it. I have. Um, and this is just an alternative way to get a different look. So same sort of concept with your card, but a different look. So you're just going to need like a thin block. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do one in the middle, one to the right and one to the left. I do this technique quite often. But I think if we do it in like a grey scaly, because this is a monochromatic card, isn't it? I'm going to go with 
the black oxide here and I'm going to ink it all up. I'm going to put the ink onto the block. Like so. But what I am going to do is I'm going to absolutely get that ink like ombre. So it goes up, 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 tap, 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 look, get lighter. Does that make sense? So dark, 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 light, 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 like that. So you can see it's got like a different sort of texture on there. And I'm going to spray it with water. Now this is oxide. I hadn't realized, but it is. It's oxide. So we're going to get a different look anyway. So let's pick this one up. So we'll go center first. When you pop it down, that looks like I sprayed it a little bit too much, so I've lost my ombre, but I'm okay with it. Let's just straighten that up a little bit, hopefully. Turn it a little bit, see if it'll help. So just give it a second to drink the card. And then when you peel away, you'll end up with like what looks like a puddle. We see that there? So let's do it again. Let's not, mind you, if I don't spray it as much now, I am absolutely going to end up with three different textures, which I suppose is okay, isn't it? So let's spray this one. Let it drink that water and that ink. Looks like, um, like cement. Holes, question, question, how much is Stamping Together Festival? I think it's four pounds, sweetheart. Four pounds, thank you, Joe. I'll push that down. Oh, well, this is looking quite cool. And then third one. And spray. So it depends on how much spray you use, I guess, and how much texture you're going to get. That one's a little bit high now. I'll just give it a second to drink. Um, Samantha, any teasers on confirmed stands? Well, um, up to date, we have confirmed. There's actually quite a lot. Um, the ones that have confirmed just recently, we have cardio back which is brilliant. Wow powder is going to be there. Um, I think now. Can't think off the top of my head. Um, but if you look at last year's, it's pretty much last year's, but with some new faces. So you can see now we've got that sort of effect. Now, do I like it? I'm, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is with the ink that I have on here, I'm going to spray again. And I'm going to sort of like make it look like it was meant to be wonky. So the excess ink on here, I'm going to spot in between. So I have like some rise and falls in there. Does that make sense? So like it was meant to be. I, I think SBM will be there. Yeah, it's my show, sweetheart. I'll definitely be there. <laughs> oh, that's better. So just the excess ink that's left on that block, I'm just adding in between to hopefully just get Take your eye away from it being wonky and like it was purposeful. Uh, yes, Denise is shouting, anybody around Northampton um, would like to go share car company? Reach out to each other. We're more than happy for you to talk amongst yourselves in the Eureka fan page about where you live. Because you just never know. I've said it a hundred times before. You never know who's around the corner. You could be crafting on your own and there's a lady ten doors down crafting as well. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised. So I have that lovely sort of background on there now. So I'm just going to dry that off. Don't forget, though, we are looking at other locations for pot sunlight. So we're going to try and, sorry, stamp them together. We are going to try and take it around the country so everybody gets a taste of the best show ever. Can you say that? Yeah, I can say that. Don't you want to be getting me and bother? Hi, Kelly. So I'll just give this a little bit of a dry off here. I 
anybody from Dorset in Hampshire wanting to go? So that is that. And then I'm going to take the other stamp, that delicate one, this one. Does it fit, fit on there? No, I need that big, I need a block. Let's just dry this station off here. So just dry that off a little bit. Now what I am going to just quickly do is I'm just going to grab my uh, wow powder. Just one second. I'm just going to grab the gold. Oh, here we are. Oh, shall we go white? Let's go white, actually. Make, shall I make sure I use the white, the, the, the right white today? Not clear, not gold, white, hey? So I've got my anti-static bag, and I'm just going to cover this in that anti-static powder. And we're going to stamp that lovely sort of this one here. Very free, very forgiving, beautiful here. I'm just going to ink this up in a sticky ink pad. And again, this is like going to be like a bit of a distress card, I feel. So I'm not too precious if I don't get it quite right, you know. So let's go here. So I've got opaque bright white wow here. Just grab a piece of card. Oh, look at that. That just looks oh, that looks so cool. Now, you know I'm not a Distress fan. So when things come out quite cool, I'm happy with it because getting me to do it's another question let's do the next one so the next one's going to be cleaner because it's a bit more solid black on the back so you're going to get a different look in fact you know what we could do we could do the center one like a gold sparkly gold what do we think so let's do this one here This one's white as well. I think I might do that centre one gold, you know. I did say monochromatic though, didn't I? I was just going to say, do you know, if Emma's watching, she'd be super proud of me because I'm doing a little bit of mixed media, but she's on train or telly. <laughs> so I just use that anti-static bag on that centre panel there because I really want this one, this gold one, to really, really pop. So I'm using the Be Bold My Colour from the wow here for the centre one. Why not, she says. Hi, Michaela. Hope you're well, sweetheart. And this one. This one's that sparkly be bold from my first wow collection stand tall how appropriate the stamp set's called stand tall see here and because the card is still a bit wet you see how you get that sort of like where it clings to it i'm just going to grab a brush and brush that bit off and then i'll heat set that one I have some new brushes as well on, on the way. Some that are going to be perfect to get rid of all of that floaty embossing powder. You know, when we do our embossing powder and it sticks, and it gives us a little bit of frustration. Some really soft hair brushes to get rid of all that powder. 
Hi Caroline Trump, hi Cheryl Ann Heimson, Claire Lucas Morgan, hi everyone. Thank you for joining me, Val Valerie McAllister. So I'm getting my gun hot. I'm just going to set this white here first. Let's do this white piece. Gold. Okay, so I'll show you that middle one. It's really sparkly. Let's have a look. That's a different card for me, isn't it? If you are a bit of a mixed media fan, you've got a totally different look there. So let's pop these two cards together. So we have our lovely pink one. So a very similar concept, really. Right, so let's just pop, um, stick it down, and then this one. See how different it looks as soon as you pop it on the card. It's crazy, isn't it, how it comes to life. Could have been straighter, Tony. But, you know, I'll let you all think about doing it straight. Just let that grab a little bit. Let's pop that under my um, die cutting mat so it'll stick flat. Just one second. Hopefully that will stick absolutely flat. So many of you on. Thank you so much for coming and saying hello. I hope I've inspired you today to maybe, if you were thinking, I don't know what to do today with my craft. I'm a little bit like, mm. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sentiments to these. Now I have my washi tape sort of tickers here. So let's just pop them in shot here. So let's have a look. So, oh, that's quite a nice one. Happy retirement. Oh, we should send that to Linda Chapman, shouldn't we? Happy retirement, sweetheart. Um, it's a girl, no, not really appropriate for this card. Thanking my lucky stars. Shall I go with this one? I'm just going to trim it off a little bit. I've got um, a little bit of too thick a white on one side where I've not lined it up right with my dye. I'm going to go thanking my lucky stars on this one. These washi tapes are back in stock. As soon as I get them loaded on. And the lovely washi tape too, you're all waiting for, Henrietta, Edith. Thank you, my lucky stars, on that one. And then on this one, I'm not sure if this one's going to get lost. Oh no, it looks okay. I wish I lived closer. But you're all saying that now for part sunlight, aren't you? <laughs> um, Let's put it off to the side here for a change. So sort of take away the sort of inspiration element and make it your own if you want to. I mean, I quite like that bit in the middle now because I've made it a bit, because it was really wonky and it still is really wonky, but don't throw it in the bin. See your card through to the end. You never know. 
where it's going to take you. So let's just hold these two cards up and show you. Let's tidy our station a little bit. Pop these on the back. Let's show you these two cards. A landscape today, so I stepped out of my box today. Oh, do. How do I think? Have to let me know which one you like the best. Oops, a daisy. There we go. Fabulous cards. Thank you, Noel. That's very kind. You know, just try and chop it up a little bit, be a little bit creative. Use your swiping technique with your ink pads if the ink pads will allow you to do that. Be creative. You could actually go into those flower heads and colour those flower heads up with watercolours. You could bleach it back out if you wanted to. Both cards, brilliant. Now, pop a comment underneath this video. I will do a giveaway. Let me know which card you like the best. Or maybe if you want to pop on next um, Wednesday, anything goes. Is there something, another stamp set you want me to touch on? A technique, a die, some papers you want me... Pop a comment underneath this video because I do look as today's show. I can't remember the lady's name who asked for it. Hopefully she's watching, but the videos never go away anyway. So they're always there for your vision. So I'm not here Friday. Remember that I'm away out of the country for now. And then I'm back Monday night, seven o'clock. Okay, for Quattro D. You need to be around for it. It's amazing. But don't forget Emma is live today at five o'clock with some absolute steals. Go and watch the show. Too good to miss out, really. So whatever you're doing, have a beautiful afternoon stroke for the next few days and I'll catch you all really soon with some fabulous new news. See you all later, everyone. Bye.